Michael the Bard 7 of Saints Row the Fourth. Uh... Oh, no way. Hey, hot dog man. See you, hot dog man. Wow. Guessing I want what's in this thing. Oh, I can beat you! Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. I just. I can beat you! Oh, but you hurt me a lot. Oh my god, I could beat that thing. Okay, now use that power to throw things at the warden and take down his shield. I can take down his shield with psychic abilities? Why do anything else? They're gonna expect me to fight like a billion of these at one point, and I don't think I will be able to do it. There you go. Nice job. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. Oh, I'm gonna abuse this. I'm gonna abuse the shit out of it. Ooh. Wow. Powers aren't even a thing anymore. They're just a thing I have. Oh, sorry, dude. Welcome to Mind Over Murder! Oh god. The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink one. Oh god. Point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good luck. It's murder time, fun time. All right. Welcome to Professor R. Yankee's Mind Over Murder. Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyak. That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem People. has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, uh. right, Zach? <laughs> Too soon, Bobby. Too soon. And that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. You cannot escape the mini game. You can never escape the mini game. Give me a real quest. I hate him. We need to save him. All right, let's save the um, douchebag. Sid is gonna help us free Matt. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. We need all the help we can get. How do we get him? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens a gateway. This should be a fucking adventure. Was he gay? I I don't even know. What the hell? Okay, pick the wrong highway, pal. See you in space. Into space. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Gotcha. Me and What's-His-Face are at it. Me and What's-His-Face got fucked up. The self-proclaimed hacker god ran all the cyber terrorism for the Syndicate back in Steelport. 
No? He's Sasha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. That pretty much summed up Max Miller really quickly. You can give me a gun anytime, Kinsey. Well, you don't have superpowers either. What? Christ, Kinsey, why the fuck are there words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. This brings back memories. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> really? Deal with it. Fucking eighties. <laughs> Just throwing this out there, but uh, I don't want to be staring at the ground for the rest of my life. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Ah, oh, they're ah, oh, get out of here! Oh man, this is awful. I can't see anything. Why? They're like little ants! There we go. This symbol is 3D? Don't you dare hit enter, Kinsey! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. This I can get. Oh, thank God. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Finally, I get to just blow shit up. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Three times, Zinyak. Try to keep up. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? You dying? It's beyond your help. We'll see about that. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Destroy. Oh, that's a lot of firepower. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Ms. Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touché. That's two. One more to go. You're still kind of on my virtual shit list, Kinsey. For what? Last time we were in cyberspace, you turned me into a sex doll. God, are you still mad about that? Yes. I said I was sorry. You gave me access to the webcam you set up in Viola's room. It's not an apology, and that's creepy. We did do it, so I'm calling it even. I'm not even going near it. Because I know a bunch Last of people will spawn over there. That. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Oh, is that my life in the corner? That's pretty cool, actually. Get out of here. Stop it! Bad touch, get off me! Get off me! Get off! I'm gonna fuck these guys up. Ah! What did you do? And you do. All right, let's get all Tron in this bitch. Yeah! Again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow and tomorrow. Well, he is odd. Tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools. Oh, just shut the fuck up. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for sharing your high school poetry. <laughs> from Macbeth. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Girl, you don't know who Mac... I can't say it. I can't. You almost got me, Zidyat. You almost got me. I think Patrick Stewart did that monologue. Damn it! Round and round we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. Oh my god. Ah! Everything blends in with each other. It's like my high school. I don't know what that means. 
figure out a meaning. You're coming up on Matt's prison. How am I gonna start a prison break without a gun? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Wing it. Thanks. Great. What can go wrong? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Fuck me, running. Awesome. Well, here we go. Fuck. Whoa. Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What am I looking at? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Oh my god, this is the in place of a bullet because you wouldn't submit to my rule. In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Wow. Wow, game. Wow. I, I don't even... Wow. I don't know what to do. Because he's right. What would Johnny Depp do? What would Johnny Depp do? Would Johnny Depp kill himself for humanity? Or screw the guy who blew up the earth? But you know what? I'm not a danger to humanity anymore. You know what? I'm a good person. I was the president of the United States. I cured cancer. I cured cancer. Cancer, damn it. I cured cancer. It's total bullshit that you could only carry 200 pounds of bison meat. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Matt, stay calm. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. Approach computer. On our screen, one question is asked. What are you? I guess I'm a slave because I can't do anything. Behold my empire. Wow. Empty space and a purple star. <laughs> this is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Well, it looks like shit. The room melts away, giving you a breathtaking view of the cosmos. What do you do? Fly towards the star. As you fly towards the star, you notice all the other stars blinking out of existence. Soon you are all alone in the vastness of space, staring into Corona. Of the purple star. What do you do? Enter purple star again. Oh, oh. Yes. I'm quite proud of this one. Why? What is it? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? <sighs> <laughs> what? What is a pirate doing? The dull sound of the heartbeat fills the room. Thump, thump, thump. Oh, this is a lazy Poe reference. Drink wine, why not? As you guzzle down the bottle of ancient murdered wine, you become lightheaded and pass out. What do you do? I wake up. Oh! Is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian <laughs> intelligence? Yes. I tire of this. Oh, I love her. On your own. Ta-ta. I can deal with anything you throw at me, buddy. 
What does this have to do with space? The warm water of the ocean laps on your face. You sit up and find yourself on a small, deserted island, isolated, adrift, alone. What do you do? Make two martini glasses out of the coconuts. You crudely fashion a pair of cocktail glasses and fill them with coconut milk. I'm gonna offer the architect a drink. Oh, what the hell? He's 13. A beautiful dominatrix emerges from only the from the oh, fuck, I can't read. A beautiful dominatrix emerges from the only shadow on the island. What do you say? Your mom's a slave? The dominatrix burst into tears. Why are you so mean? Why well, blame the victim, bitch! Dominatrix burst into tears. Why are you so mean? I'm sorry. Look, I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. She takes a moment to wipe her tears and her fur-lined leather cuffs. So why are you here, Matt Miller? So I can destroy Zinyak. All right, pick up the phone and dial yourself out, Matt. That I wasn't done with him yet. She sighs. <laughs> then you will have to fight Matt Miller's most feared opponent. And who's that? Oh! Uh, she fades away, and before you, before you stands Killbane. The saint think they can defeat me again? No! This time, Matty has to do his own fighting. Then where's Matt? Suddenly, Matt Miller appears in the ring! Let's do this! Kilbane laughs. Do you really think a wimp like Matty here can defeat me? Matt Miller cowers a bit. I, I don't think I can do this. Shut the hell up, Kilbane. Oh, I gotta support him. I know you can beat him, Matt! Matt weakly nods. All right. Punch him. Oh. Uh, he takes a swing, hitting Kilbane in the jaw. Oh, what the hell? Punch him again. This is impossible! Punch him again. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. With that mighty swing, Matt Miller's third hit in a row sends Kilbane crashing to the ground unconscious. I did it! I won! Told you, kid. Matt Miller breathes a sigh of relief. I knew you'd get me- Oh, I knew you'd get me through this. Now, can I get out of this antique game? Time to go, Matt. A large ringing device appears before Matt Miller. A coiled wire connects two pieces and a massive dial, not unlike a chamber of a revolver, rests in the center. It's a phone. Pick up the phone. That was the longest description for a phone I've ever read in my entire fucking life. Oh, I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. You guys an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. Yeah, he's got it. You need help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. <laughs> Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? I love how my skull earrings stay in the cutscenes. ...of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. Uh... <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. It would really help us out. Peace!